So I just thought I would jump on here real quick and do a sunscreen reapplication video just because I know my favorite way of reapplying sunscreen, the Shiseido Hydro BB, is being discontinued. So you can find the find it on the website, but you can't find it in store anymore. And it's just like one of those compact ones where you can um, just press it on. And this is medium dark. If you can get this online, always go one shade higher because it's kind of like, so this is medium dark and this is my color. I would usually be a medium in their foundations or other BB creams. But I found something new that I do like and I use for, especially if I'm going to do outdoor sports or swimming, like reapplication. And it's the Coats Face Prime and Protect. And this is SPF 40. It's a mineral sunscreen with 8% titanium dioxide and 3.8 zinc. And then I also like their lip balm, which is SPF 45, and it's also mineral. And I bought these both on Amazon. I know this was $27.50. I don't know, I forgot how much this was. I've been using Taizo 3, which is like a similar consistency, but I actually think I like this one better and it's cheaper. So usually I keep this in my purse and so, and that's upstairs. So when I wanna reapply and I'm downstairs in my bathroom, I've been actually reaching for this and I'll just show you what I do. like really quick i just did like a really hot sweaty workout and i sweat a lot on my face so all my makeup here and sunscreen all over here is like gone like i still have some blush on the side but everywhere where it matters it's gone so i would just take some of this and normally i would like to shower after working out but i'm gonna go and play tennis with my kids after so i just gotta reapply real quick and it's a mousse consistency it has silicones in it. So it has that kind of like liquid, but not liquid. And I think that's why it works well. Like any kind of liquid sunscreen, I would not reapply all over my face because this one's thick. I actually probably need a little bit more to get, you know, more of the SPF, but I'll just take like that much and then kind of rub it between three fingers and then press it around my face. And it has a tint, so it kind of helps cover things up a little bit. And it's a dry consistency, even though it's a liquid. So like I get hyperpigmentation here, pretty much everywhere. So, you know, even on my ears, like right here. And then it doesn't crease that much under my eyes, which is kind of amazing. So I kind of just brush it on. I put some on my neck if I can. And this is the one that I've been talking about where I put it on and it gets all over my white t-shirts and stuff because I'll put it on my neck and then, you know, your clothes rubs on your skin, obviously. Um, so yeah, that's a concern, but I mean, you still need sunscreen. <laughs> so I kind of do that and I mean, it's not full coverage. You can still see all my freckles. If I have more time, I will get like a powder SPF. And this is the Mineral Fusion SPF 30. And if I was on the go, I would use the brush. You just tap it and then, but since I'm at home and I just put on a liquid thing, I don't want it to be all on this brush because it's really hard to clean. So I would just open this and tap a little on the cap. And then I would get, I have a portable brush. It's by Lila B. I don't know. I just had this. And you just kind of tap it in there. And this way you know how much you're getting also. It's hard to tell when you use the brush that it comes with, but you can see it go on. You get some every time and then spread it around. Like you don't want to put a lot in one spot. And I wouldn't do this in the car because it kind of gets everywhere, but in the bathroom, it's okay for outside.
And I've tried the color science ones, which are popular that are similar to this, but the brush that it comes with is really bad. Like you can barely get anything out. At least this brush, for some reason it's looser. So you can actually see when the product is coming out. So any extra, I'll just tap it back in, maybe over the sink. I'll show you what I mean. So if you tap it like five times, like you can kind of see it coming out. I don't know if you can see it in the middle. You can see it in real life, but at least you know some is coming out. Yeah, so after you do your whole face, it looks very matte. It's still a little sticky, like I wouldn't rub it, but it looks matte at least. I really just hate that sunscreen, like shiny look. So yeah, it looks okay. I, I, I would go outside again. And then the lip sunscreen, it's just a, like a tan color and it's mineral. So I kind of just put it on. It's kind of nude, so I would put like another lip color over it just to have more like color on your face. But yeah, and if I wanted to, I would just like do more bronzer and a little bit more blush. But yeah, so important to reapply your sunscreen, especially if you live in Hawaii like I do. Yeah, whenever I find a really good sunscreen reapplication product, I like to share with like my friends and family because it's hard to come by. And if you don't like the product or how it looks, you're not gonna use it during the day. So this is a good combination along with this and this. And I'll leave all the links below. Um, but yeah. Thanks for watching. Reapply your sunscreen and I'll see you in my next video. Oh, and just a quick update on the lashes. This is day five of the Lilac Street Midnight Lashes and today's Thursday, I put it on Saturday. Tomorrow I'm gonna take it off and do the whole process again. But if you wanna see it up close, you can see that there's some lash growth. So it's like further away from my waterline. And also, this is what I mean when I get like sunscreen or concealer on the bottom of the lashes. And I don't know if you can see on camera, but up in person, you can actually see it, which is kind of irritating. So I'm gonna try something different. I'm gonna get the sealant and a Q-tip. So I'm not gonna use this brush because I don't wanna get it dirty and then put it back in. I'm just gonna get a Q-tip and kind of get a little bit on there. I also have smaller Q-tips that might work better, but you know, turning it upside down worked. So I'm just gonna get the Q-tip. I'm gonna, without getting the fuzz on the bottom, I'm gonna try to rub the concealer off going inward and not poking my eye. So let's try that and see if it helps take it off. Okay, so like little emotions like that kind of help rub it off. It's not completely gone, but at least it's not so obvious. I have a hard time seeing in the phone reflection. But. Yeah, so in person, you can maybe see it a little bit if you're looking, but from far away, it looks a lot better. I probably have to do this right now too. But yeah, make sure you use the sealant and not the primer or the cleaner because that those are made to take off the lashes. So this one is supposed to, you know, help the glue stay on. But yeah, that's a quick fix. If you have a uh, issue with, like me, with the concealer or sunscreen getting on there. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching and please subscribe and I'll see you in my next video.